last few videos were a lot of fun, but it's time once again to do another 24 hour video. This time we're going to be living at Church's Texas Chicken, a brand new location in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. We'll be eating lunch, dinner, and a fun snack before hitting the hay in our minivan camper. Then in the morning, it's breakfast at Tim Hortons, then back to Church's for our last huge lunch before heading home. It's been a long time since I've squeaked my cheese curd. If this stealth camping and adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. This weekend is Super Bowl weekend. I thought I'd start it off celebrating at Church's Texas Chicken in the States. It's just Church's Chicken. Up here in Canada, it's Church's Texas Chicken. So, uh, so it's Super Bowl. I want to celebrate by spending 24 hours at churches and as you know the two teams that are playing in the Super Bowl are the Bengals and the Rams. I have a Rams hat. I don't have a, a Bengals hat. I'm going to be rooting for the Bengals because they have never ever won a Super Bowl. Uh, the last time the Rams won I think was 1999. Uh, the closest the Bengals ever got was I think it was against the Chiefs in 1989 and uh it was a close game 16 to 20 and uh so i'm rooting for the Bengals, but i need a hat so let's just go to the mall quickly grab a hat and then we'll go up to church's texas chicken and eat chicken for 24 hours you guys with me let's go for a flex fit bangles hat but this is our nfl section That's okay it. well they didn't have any you think leading up to a super bowl they'd have hats maybe they're just having problems getting them in but uh, i decided to get a raptors hat i don't own one so this is my first raptors hat i'm so happy they have one uh they have so many designs but there's only so many flex fit designs and i prefer flex fit over the snapback they're just nicer hats for me anyway that's what i've discovered so let us know in the comments below if your team doesn't make it to the playoffs do you guys pick the underdog do you pick the team you think is going to win are you a bandwagoner so it's okay to be a bandwagoner people it is okay Stop your fussing and your mussing. Do you uh, leave the stickers on? Are you that kind of person? Nothing wrong with it. I just don't like stickers on my hats. They have to come off immediately. So all stickers came off. Here in Canada, just to give you an idea, a hat is $38.99. $38.99, I have to get extra large because I have a large cranium. And if I get anything smaller, it gives me a headache. Uh, I, I'm sure you guys have bought the wrong size hat once and possibly had the same problem. Don't forget, get your tickled toad hat someday. <laughs> Come down to the tickled toad. So I'm gonna be at the tickled toad on Sunday. If you wanna swing by, have a drink. Oh my gosh, that's a nice fitting hat. Nice. What do you think, hmm? Again, this one, this one was a medium and this was the only hat when I went to LA a few years ago, many years ago. Um, Again, whenever I fly into a city that I've possibly haven't been to or I've been to a bunch of times but never bought an NFL hat, I usually uh, pick one up. So I picked one up when I was in LA. And I think just after that, they moved the team. You guys can fill me in and correct me if I'm wrong. But I got the, this is funny, because I got the, I actually did get the extra large. Look how sweaty that is, I haven't, I haven't cleaned it yet. So this is the extra large, which is really funny. It gives me a headache when I wear it. Oh, maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's another one. There's another one I bought. Or what, maybe it wasn't a Rams hat. Maybe it's not the Rams hat. One of the hats I bought is a medium. 
and it crushes my skull over time. So this is actually not bad. I'll have to wear this. Even though I'm gonna be voting for the Bengals, I'll probably wear this one just to support one of the teams through merchandise. But today, we're gonna to be wearing this hat. My first Raptors hat. Nice. And when you pull it down nice, it just wraps around the back of your skull nice and tight. Well, I mean, well, not that tight, nice and snug. That's the right word, snug. Today's word, snug. All right, let's get up to uh, Barry and uh, eat our first meal at Church's Texas Chicken. There is churches. That's where we're gonna be spending another 24 hours eating chicken. Go big on flavor. So it doesn't look like they have a drive-through at this location, which is fine. I'm not sure if any of the locations have drive-throughs personally, but let's park here for now. We're just gonna get some food. Not gonna stay long in this spot. We'll move. Oops, there we go. You know you're parked when the front of your car hits the snowbank. All right, so one of the first things I wanna try is the Mexicana wrap combo. And it uh, gets regular fries and a regular drink. Let's go get it. How are you doing today? Um, I'm gonna do the, the Mexicana wrap combo, please. With fries and a medium drink. Anything else? Uh, that's it for now, thank you. Any ketchup you want, sir? Uh, no, it's all right, thanks. Woohoo! All right! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Take off the jacket. So, it came to, like... $12.98 after taxes for the medium combo. Now we can get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? And I got the placemat. There's certain, there's an up and down to my placemat. I'm gonna wash my hands too. Get that out of the way. Nice church's bag going on. Uh-oh, what's that? It's probably the fries, that's the wrap. It's been, I've only been to um, a church's once, and if you guys can remember, they didn't give me enough tomato, or they gave me like a really tiny tomato. I, I bitched and complained the whole video. <laughs> all right, let's set it all up. Going for a close up. Before we go in for the close up, uh, it says open here. Fresh, toasted, melty, ready to go. Church's chicken. And uh, I wonder why, I guess they maybe they use the same box in the States and they haven't got around to uh, making the Texas chicken boxes yet. Oh, come on, you can do it, do it. Ah. All right, so put that over there. Okay, now we can go in maybe for a close up. Which side would be better? This side. All right, here we go. Going in for the extreme close-up of our church's Texas chicken lunch. Over here we got our iced tea. We got those crinkly fries. And we got that chicken. How many people out there love church's chicken? Uh, from what I remember, it's pretty good. I can't wait to try it again. Quick sip. Wet the whistle. Hmm. I think that was nest tea, was it nest tea? I can't remember. Oh yeah. Crinkle fries. A little warm. Not too hot. Nice meaty, thick fries. Definitely crunchy on the outside. Softer on the inside. Okay, so they've wrapped it up nicely like a burrito. You could possibly use this to stop stuff from coming out the bottom, but it looks like they did a really good job at tightening up that bottom. Ooh la la. All right, here we go. Oh, and I forgot to ask for spicy. Hmm, next time. Mmm. 
Look at that. Woo! No. Now that's good chicken. Wow, I did ask for spicy. Makes sense. The Mexicana is a spicy wrap. Totally forgot. Gapped on that one. Sorry about that. That is spicy. Tolerable? Yes. On a spice scale from 1 to 10. 10 being a ghost pepper or a, a reaper, which I've had. Um, this would be like maybe a 2 compared to that. Cheers. The chicken was juicy, tender, crunchy, um, batter on the outside. You got some tomatoes in there, lettuce, and again, lots of that hot sauce. I love spicy stuff, but when it's too spicy, it becomes crazy. This is like a perfect spice. Uh, my wife couldn't eat this. No. It is, it's that hot that my wife couldn't eat it. I can eat it, it's totally fine. Uh, Church's has multiple sides. They have fries, uh, mashed potatoes, coleslaw, onion rings, jalapeno bombers, which we're gonna get later, uh, gravy and biscuits, or poutine. We're definitely gonna be doing the poutine later too. They also have another thing on there called honey butter biscuits. And I think I had them once before, but I can't remember. You can get them a three, six or 12 piece. I think it's considered their dessert uh, or maybe just a biscuit on the side, kind of like Popeye's. But uh, I think it was in the desserts. And maybe, maybe it was a dessert and short uh, sides menu that I was looking at. But we'll definitely give that, give that a shot as well. This wrap is fantastic. Let me know in the comments below if you've been to churches and if you've had the Mexicana wrap combo. And let me know what side you guys like to get here at churches. Look at that. I'm glad I tried the fries first. Pretty good fries. Can't wait to try other things. There's one of the crispy tortilla chips that I just saw in there. So all along that fence is uh, customer parking only. No employees can park there. They actually have areas for employees to be parking but i'm thinking like this will be like the best spot it does say two hour limit violators will be towed away at vehicle owner's expense that's good with this beer to have like a ron howard look no two more bites and we're done hmm I'm loving this so much. I'm going to have to give you guys that one o'clock in the morning shut up bite for all you lovely men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This amazing bite is just for you. Cheers, guys. Mm. Mm. It's so creamy, crunchy. Mm. Tasty. Let's go in the back and uh, make sure we're all set up for tonight and uh, make sure that it's only like one degree Celsius here in Barrie. And I think it's going to go down to possibly like minus three tonight, but I'll be fine with the heater and my minus nine sleeping bag. So let's go back, take a peek. Got to wash the van. I know, I know it's just not a good time to wash really. So I got some overnight clothing, uh, an extra hoodie just in case. I got my slippers, because sometimes you just need to step out. So I, you don't want to have to strap up boots the whole time. I got my uh, Jackery to charge up my phone and stuff and keep me all juiced up. I like to keep that pillow there, that pillow there for now. I'll probably put Mr. Jackery right there. This is a really good spot for my table, but when you're driving around, it makes a lot of noise. So I do have a new cooler coming. It's gonna be a little bit bigger. And once I get that, I might put like another piece of wood along here to stop things from sliding forward when you uh, brake and accelerate. Just kind of places it in a spot and so it doesn't move. And then when I do that, this might be able to stay nice and snug against the wall. Because that's just annoying when you're driving around and it's just making noise the whole time. So everything's really good to go. Uh, one of the things I've remembered or I forgot is to bring this in and charge it. Um, I don't know how many 
it's on low medium high it's still at 100 percent. i have not charged it since the summertime and it looks like it's still at 100 percent. unbelievable that's how much i've used it since then but the fact that it's re retaining all that electricity in there that's phenomenal this is a great fan if you're ever looking for a fan and i'm blowing right onto the camera what i like about the fan is it's got multiple swivel points so again i aim it on me when in the, in the summertime when it's hot but i'll probably aim it at the front uh, to try and keep the circulation going to stop the condensation and I do have that new powder stuff I'll probably bring that back here or leave it up by the windshield This is where I'm putting under this disgusting chair here. So this one's open. This is new I might open them both and have one on either side, but we'll see time to take the boots off sit back relax I have been looking into the next size up van that I'd like to get, which is either a GMC. I'd like to get the 3500 series as opposed to the 2500 series, but I want the GMC or the Chevrolet Chevy. One of those will do. Out of all the vans I've been researching over the last almost year coming up, uh, that's the my favorite for looks, for reliability. A lot of people have the GMC and swear by it. Just getting some wires out for later, plug stuff in. One of the things I'm thinking about is as soon as I get the van, uh, I want to put uh, like an extended roof on it, just like another six inches to 12 inches, just to give us that extra height so that you can at least walk around. You might be hunched over a little bit, but uh, it's better than crawling around like in here. Uh, even the like 2500 without the extended top, uh, you, you probably could walk around, but you definitely will be hunched over more. Um, I do sometimes walk around in here like this. And uh, when I first got the van, it wasn't super comfortable to do that. But now I've been doing it for a while, as you guys know, and uh, I'm, I'm fine with it, but so let's get our stuff set up for later. Get our foam plugged in. This uh, one generator will last us the whole night. I've got two of these, but I only need, I guess I only need one. I'm gonna take the jacket off and uh, relax for a bit. coming up at five o'clock. So uh, I wanna get that food and uh, do our last little food adventure uh, before it gets too dark. And then I have to like put all the coverings on. Later on, we might be, we might be doing those honey biscuit things as a snack, but uh, it's about nine, nine and a half degrees in here. So I ha haven't really had to turn the, um, the heater on or anything. Hello. Hi. Can I get the uh, Tech Supreme sandwich combo, please? Well, what size for this one, sir? Uh, can I do on onion rings, yes, please? Anything else, sir? Uh, that's it, thanks. So nice. Like Got everything all set up, just going into the bag. So dinner cost us $12.98. The other one cost us $12.98. It's the exact same price. I even upgraded it to the uh, the onion rings. So I, I don't recall doing their onion rings. And of course I grabbed myself a one vinegar, one salt. Cause you gotta put the salt and the vinegar on it and uh, it looks like they come in a bag. Look at that. Bag cam. 
There you go. Oh, they look yummy. Let's just dump them into the top of this lid. Oh my goodness, that looks great. Well, 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 check out this awesome dinner we have here. I'm definitely going back in there later on for those uh, honey biscuits. But there is our Fruitopia I thought we'd go with this time. Again, a drink I wouldn't normally try, but you gotta do something different every once in a while. Look at those crispy golden onion rings. Wow, they look super crunchy, super tasty. Over here, we got a shiny lid on that Tech Supreme. And it uh, looks like we got lettuce, mayo, tomato, cheese, crunchy chicken, more mayo on the bottom, as you can see way down there. All right, that looks awesome, let's eat. First up, once again, show the logo. Oh, woo, it's so sugary. First up is the vinegar. You gotta do a little vinegar first, douse it, douse it. Can you guys see? Can you guys see me dousing it? It's, it, it's like in the wrong spot to be doused for you guys to watch. There we go, all doused. Then we get our salt, tear a small little opening. We'll dust it, nice light dusting. Now we can munch away. Oh, look at this one, cool. I hate when that happens. The whole onion got sucked right out of it. Now all I'm left is just breading. I think those are the crunchiest onion rings I have ever had. Way to go, churches. I try to bite it so that the onion ring breaks too. Nope. My teeth aren't sharp enough. It's nice when they're this big. You don't have to worry about losing onion. Super crunchy. My little gem. <laughs> oh my goodness, did you see? The size of that chicken breast. Look how big it is. Check it out. I barely fit in the frame with this sandwich. Let's let's check out the size of the tomato they gave me this time. Okay, they gave me a pretty good tomato. It's almost the size of the chicken. Almost. So we got the, like I said, the shredded lettuce, a lot of shredded lettuce. And that is one big piece of chicken, man. The bun is solid. Let's do it. Mmm. It's been a while. But that chicken's good. That bun's nice too. I didn't see if it was toasted or not. Yeah, nicely toasted. That is yummy. So the spicy chicken was fantastic. This is just as good. Wow. It was very tasty. The cheese is also a nice add on to that. I'm enjoying it. Let me know what you think of Church's buns. Leave a comment. I'll keep eating. I'm going to polish the rest of this off. Then we'll go back into the back, get the computer out, and start watching a movie. And then maybe around 9 o'clock, maybe 8 30, we'll uh, go get those honey biscuits and see how good they are. Cheers getting kind of dark out so when I want to get my computer out and do stuff on my computer it uh, kind of helps if um, people can't see that I'm in here so that's when we get up the stealth windows let's go 
gonna get dark in here real fast now. It's now only seven degrees in here, so it's dropped a bit. So as you can see, all my windows are all installed. There is a few cracks in the production of them. They don't fit exactly perfect. So if I had a lot of light in here and it was pitch black outside, people would see that there's something going on in that vehicle. So uh, eventually I will get uh, like a strip lighting. If any of you guys have any ideas, I know Mav has two strip lightings, but I'm not sure if they're battery operated or they're attached into his generator, uh, his batteries, whatever. And uh, so a little feedback from you guys would be awesome. Thanks. It's 8.30 right now. And I just finished watching like three episodes of season four Ozark. So I am now on episode four. I watched one the other night. And uh, so I've got three more episodes to go. Let me know if you are watching Ozark on Netflix. It is a fantastic series. I highly recommend it. But right now, I'm hungry. I want to go try those honey biscuit things here at Church's Chicken. Let's go. First things first, it's getting so cold in here and walking from there and back, it's still nine degrees in the van, but it doesn't feel like nine degrees. It feels like four, or two or one. So I'm gonna turn on my my heater. This is the, the buddy, the Mr. Heater buddy system. So you push down, turn it to the pilot. The pilot should ignite. Once it's ignited, you can turn it to low. Then it starts to flame up a little bit. This gives off a lot of heat. Earlier on, I actually had to shut it off because the heat in here got up to like 17 degrees uh, Celsius, which is not bad, uh, but uh, I had to shut it off. Started sweating a little bit. All right, so I got my biscuits. I know you English people out there, biscuits are cookies, but here, these are like scones, I guess, maybe in England you'd call these scones, scones or scones, so there you go, uh, this is not going to do it justice, but uh, I apologize, I didn't bring any, oh, she, did she give me napkins, no, ah, no napkins, they're at the front, dang nabbit, anyway, oh, man, oh well. There goes the socks. Okay, let me get the lighting on this situation. Check that out. All glistening with honey. I'm going to keep this light close to me so you guys can see. Oh, it's still warm. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Wow. Can you see the steam coming off that? That is a thing of beauty. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Carb overload. Incredible. It is a dessert. It's all sweet on top. It's like got a honey caramelized coating on the top. And inside is this nice soft biscuit. Mm. Wow. That, that is awesome. <laughs> so glad I grabbed one of these, or well, three of them. You can get uh, three, six, and 12, I think. Wow, that is a phenomenal biscuit. I'm gonna watch the rest of Ozark. Eat those two biscuits, drink some water, and then go to bed, hit the hay. Look at my glasses are fogging up, just trying to, come on. But the heater nicely is perfect. Nice heat in here. 
it's already gone up a half degree so i'm pretty happy with that but uh once uh, ozark is finished once i go to bed the uh the heater will go off so i wake up in the morning have a great night we'll see you in the morning snowed yeah the windshield has snow all over it yeah we got a light dusting i had a pretty good sleep last night um didn't need any extra heater or anything it's minus two degrees outside so it's minus two outside zero degrees inside so it is cold but it is doable definitely better than minus 16 like we've done in the past. I'm gonna put this on. Then we'll head on over to uh, Starbucks, get that coffee. Get on with our day. And it still is snowing. Whoo, it's windy too. Oh. Yeah, it's windy all right, and it's snowy. Cool. Oh, so I think that worked. Let's just do uh get this vehicle warmed up as soon as possible so let me turn on my windshield wipers yeah so it's not that foggy inside so maybe this stuff did its job oh my fingers are freezing Ugh. let's just check to see rip the top off no water in the bottom so maybe it's working maybe it's not or maybe it wasn't moisture enough in here I'm gonna warm up and then we'll head over I was gonna do the uh, Starbucks, there's a, but there's a brand new Tim Hortons over here, and I've never been to it before. And there is a crazy lineup. <laughs> I just like sl almost slid past the driveway. It's so slippery out. The question always is, what are we gonna get? We're definitely gonna get a large black coffee. That's always the first thing on my mind. And then after that, uh, it's usually their biscuit sandwich because their biscuits are better than their English muffins by 150%. Sausage and egg on a biscuit with the hash browns and a large black coffee, please. All right, 740, it's coming up. Thank you. All right, 740 for Brucky. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. You too. All right, people, let's go back to the church's parking lot and enjoy our breakfast. Browns. Nice start of the day. Good morning and cheers. Oh yeah. 
So it looks like the Leafs lost to the Flames last night, five to two. But I got through all of season four of Ozark. So I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> the Leafs will win the next one. Squashed breakfast sandwich. Mmm. I love their biscuits. Fresh cracked egg. I'm so glad they went away with the whole patty thing. That was just bad. Looks like he's salting. Yeah, he's got the salter going. Last bite of this wonderful breakfast. Two and a half hours to lunch. See you then. We are coming up on the 24 hour mark. It's lunchtime, so I'm gonna go in there and try their two piece chicken combo. Uh, and the two sides I'm gonna to add to that are the jalapeno bombers and the poutine. Let's go grab that and bring that here and see if they're any good. Uh, can I do the two-piece chicken combo, please? You want original or spicy? Uh, spicy, that, thanks for asking. Okay, and this side, do you want the dark? Uh, could I do the jalapeno bombers? Yeah, and, and, and a, a drink. And, uh, and a drink, and the poutine. And I'm gonna try your your churros bites. How many you want? Five oh. and fifteen? Let's do the five, please. Five and two. Oh, and uh, three of your uh, honey biscuits. Come on, biscuit drink. Please. Two piece biscuit, that's it. Uh, actually, you have more than that, right? You have a six piece. Can I up it to six piece? You want a six piece? Yes, please. Sorry about that. That's me. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. As you can see, we are all set up with our beautiful looking lunch here at Church's. Uh, decided to go with a ginger ale this time. There's your uh, churros. I thought they were gonna be a little bit longer than that. When you look at the box, you're like, I think they forgot my churros. Same with the jalapeno poppers, or bombers as they call them down here. And over here we got our poutine. So we got French fries, cheese curds, and gravy. I don't think you uh, ladies and gentlemen in the United States get this at your church's chicken, but we do up here in Canada. And over here is our spicy two-piece chicken. Uh, and I'm super happy that it comes with uh, one of the biscuits. And then I bought six more biscuits to take home to the wife. Remember guys, happy wife, happy life. Let's start off with these jalapeno poppers. I didn't know what dip I should use. Almost like a cheese dip I think you'd wanna do with these maybe. No, oh, okay. Some places uh, get a jalapeno and scoop it out and they put cheese in it and then they freeze them and then they roll them in a batter, deep fry them. Some places like this, whoo, it's hot. I guess get cheese and cut up jalapenos, probably make like a little form, freeze those, bread it, then, free, uh, then uh, deep fry it because it's all like all busted up inside. Real yeah, hot, man. Whoa! I got six more to go. These jalapeno poppers are definitely a must try here at churches. They're nice. I bet you guys got these in the States. There's your uh, poutine. The chips, when I first started trying to open it, I saw this chip first, this French fry, and it's so white, I thought, did they forget to cook it? <laughs> That's what it looked like. But uh, here we go. Mmm. I like their gravy, and they definitely use cheese curds. Not bad. Again, one of the best things you can eat in Canada on a cold day 
It is just warming the soul. <laughs> Guys, the cheese curds are squeaking on my teeth. It has been so long. Most places, when they, I don't know, maybe they get them fresh here at Church's Chicken. If anybody works at Church's Chicken here in Ontario, let me know if you guys get your, your cheese curds fresh or do you get them brought in on like a, a freezer truck or something? Because apparently once you've refrigerated cheese curds, it loses its squeak. But these I haven't lost their squeak. And it's been a long time since I've squeaked my cheese curd. Unbelievable. Church's chicken, thank you. I can't believe it. Good job. Look how many napkins she gave me. Like, holy cow, I think they win for most napkins ever given out at any at any place. Look how many that is. Holy, she thinks I'm a messy person, maybe. She took one look at me. She's like, yeah, let's give them double, triple, whatever. That is even better than yesterday. Now, my wife is going to be happy I brought these home. Mm. Okay, here we go. In for a drum. Nice, big, chicken drum. Check that out. Scratch it. Sniff it. The rest is mine. Look how crunchy that looks. Okay, are you guys listening? Stove hot. I did go for spicy, but uh, my mouth is still being affected by those jalapeno bombers. Hmm. I'm going to have to keep eating. The chicken is fresh and juicy. It's like glistening. It's so good. Good to the last bite. Last but not least, churros. I'm hoping that they don't have those aftertaste like some of the other ones I've had in the past. That looks pretty good. All sprinkled up with cinnamon, sugar, tasty little donuts. Little straight stick donuts. Super crunchy. Definitely got that cinnamon kick to it. They have that slight deep fried aftertaste. Next time I'm gonna have to try their apple pie. Oh, they have ice cream as well, I believe. I love everything at Church's Chicken, except their churros, sorry. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for sticking around with me in all these 24 hour videos. You guys are awesome. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking all my videos. Uh, I'd like to do a special shout out to all my channel members for keeping Rusty, uh, his tank, full of gas all the time. You guys are awesome. And of course, all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist I dumped down over there. And we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.